Hey guys, well, about a year and a half ago, I built a covered fire pit for a client and it came out really nice. Uh, both he and I were really happy with it and it got me thinking, I need one of these at my house. Last summer, I placed a bunch of dirt here and leveled it out and compacted it. Kind of got a rough shape of where my pad was gonna be. Over the past few months, I've been placing boulders. I've been bringing them home a trailer load at a time from work and uh, just kind of getting the, the earthwork done for my structure to sit on. Well, now I've got the layout set up and it's time to start milling some timbers. Now I'm gonna be using logs that were harvested after the wildfires last summer. My goal is to make timbers that you can't go out to the store and buy. I want people to look at this thing and say, wow. Welcome to part one of my fire pit build. Let's go mill some logs. start with this monster right here it is 34 inches at the butt 32 at the small end almost 17 feet long and if my mill will lift it onto the deck we'll be uh, off and running oh yeah And that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching. Well, with a little bit of love from the John Deere, I was able to get it rolled over to the lifting arms, but big surprise, the lifting arms won't lift it. I don't need this thing to be 17 feet long. I'm going to cut two or three feet off of this butt end because it's too big anyways. Uh, 34 inches is two, two inches over the, the maximum size that the saw can break down. It's doable, but it's a lot of monkeying around. So I'm going to lop a little bit off of this and see if we can get it up on the deck. Well, that should knock about 50 pounds off that log. Let's see if we can lift her up now. And one thing that's really critical when you're working with giant logs like this is to make sure that each of the feet under your sawed mill deck are equally supported. Big log like this will tweak the bed frame if you don't have equal support under all of the feet. So first thing I did was go around and put shims in and do whatever I had to do to make sure that each one of these feet under the sawmill were equally supported.
I see two little knots. All right. Pretty sure I hit a nail on that first pass towards that end. We'll see what the cut quality is. doesn't seem to have done any damage to the blade. I got a couple little dips on these knots. I think I might switch out the blade. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. It's almost the end of May. It's time for Olight's May sale. This month they're featuring the four function O bulb in purple. The O-Bulb is of course rechargeable and has a magnetic base. You can stick it to anything metal. The I3T will be available in Desert Sky. It's 180 lumens on high and is powered by a single AAA battery. And the big one this month will be the Freyer in orange. The Freyer shines in white, red, green, and blue. The Freyer has a 1750 lumen maximum output. The Freyer comes with the silicone wand attachment, which would be super handy if say you were hiking and you got lost and you were trying to signal somebody without starting a fire. You can just slip the wand on, turn the red light on, and you have a great signal. Click on my link below, use the checkout code NS10 to save 10% on anything that's not already on sale. I've gotten a lot of comments lately about people thanking me for turning them on to Olight. Give them a try, you won't be disappointed.
Well, I've just about got this cant squared off and uh, it wasn't looking right. And it's funny because somebody just commented about cutting square lumber for, for people and uh, I think they may have jinxed me. So I went down and got my framing square and you don't really have to have a laser eye to see how far out that is. That is way out. So we're gonna square up the mill head. Now, unfortunately, because of the size of the cant up there, I can't measure down to the deck from the blade to the deck. So I'm gonna have to knock the cant back off to the loading arms. Six and a half. Twenty six and a half. Okay. So it's cutting parallel to the bed. Six and a half. So I'm cutting parallel to this bunk. This one is right on this side. On this side, it's about a quarter inch low. This one is, it's right here, and it's about an eighth of an inch low on this side, which would make sense. The, these two take a lot of abuse from the logs coming on. Easy adjustment. That one is back to totally square. So now I gotta figure out why my side cuts aren't square. I'm gonna check my dogs for square. The dogs are square. Okay, everything is checking out square on the saw. I think what may have happened because of how big this log is, and I was flipping it 180 degrees to take the to square off the edges. I think when I was squaring my third side, I wasn't squared to my first two cuts, and I think that's what. And then I rotated it 180 to throw off the other side. So I have parallel cuts, top and bottom, side to side. They're parallel with each other, but they're not square to each other. So I'm going to use the clamp to press the cant up against these dogs, and that way. I'll be square. I should I should be able to square this thing back up. It should be a simple fix. So let's give it a shot, see what happens. Now I'll be taking a wedge off of this. And if it's square to this cut and this cut, we should be back in business. Let's see what happens. Pretty darn close.
Oh man, it just keeps getting better. Not any lighter though. Normally I'm a one size fits all guy with the blades. I, I run seven degree on hardwood and Douglas fir like this, but these are 10 degree blades. And uh, I really like the way they're cutting. Let's have a look. This thing is dead flat, 25 inches wide, man. Maybe my post needs to be 25 inches wide. <laughs> I'd never be able to get it set up, but man, that sure looks cool. All right, let's uh, get this rotated up and finished off. Well, a week and a half has passed since that last clip you just watched. I've been up helping my neighbors get their place ready for their mobile home to be delivered this week. If you saw my last video, uh, first of all, I appreciate it. Um, ton of great comments. I appreciate all of you that have commented and uh, I'm trying to get responded to everyone. But a uh, little spoiler alert, if you look in the top right hand corner of your screen, you'll see something coming up in the, in the next video or two. But I'm going to get back to my Douglas fir here for my project and uh, get this thing up on the internet. That was pretty slick, I don't care who you are. Well, out of this first log, I ended up with uh, some really nice six by tens, a couple of mostly six by eights, this post is still 18 by 18. I'm going to leave it oversized until um, I figure out exactly the dimension I want to go with. I was thinking about 14 by 14, but I think I could do 16 by 16 and just be over the top with it. So uh, over the next month or so, I hope to get through the rest of those logs I've got decked and start going vertical with this thing. It's a holiday weekend this weekend and next weekend I'll probably be helping the neighbors get their water and power run to their house. That's going to be awesome. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching as always. Check out the Olight sale. Stick around. I'm going to have a bunch more of this going on. And uh, I think this thing is going to be really awesome when it's done. We'll see you soon.